Well, it's been steadily snow, snowing since yesterday. Uh, after I took another video, showed the snow off the truck. And now we've got, uh, looks like three or four more inches. So, with that said, there's enough now. I need to plow snow. I was going to yesterday and I decided it wasn't enough, but now I'm pretty sure there's plenty of snow here to, to plow today. And uh, so I'm going to do that. Let's see what I can get done on that. Yeah, I've got about uh, six inches or so out there, or six or eight maybe. So. I'm going to do it, and then I'll get a picture when I'm done with this, I guess. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> I love Alaska, though. Look at them mountains. Wow. No, I didn't. Think about getting a camera while I was plowing all this snow for the past hour. Um, and then now I thought about it. And I've still got a lot of plowing to do, it's pretty obvious. Uh, I've got to take all these slosh overs from the blade out of here too, so they'll just pile up. And we get that little island there out of here. And i got to get, got a little bit more back here, probably some right in front of these vehicles. And some more down through there. I want to make a hit to the cabin also and I got to fix the mailbox up a little bit better and I might want to fix that up a little better for that diesel truck for that back tank over there uh, which is he's he has a hose that'll reach from over here to that tank so we'll be all right there but I got to get him up there close to that burn barrel okay so, yeah, it's it's coming. I did a lot. Even when I went down the road and out that way and over that way, I'm pushing snow in here all the way that way. And I got to push this snow to there, and then that's where it drops off. If I go any further, I'll probably get stuck. So, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to gamble on it, let's put it that way. I got more to do, so I'll put this in the cab of the truck and... We'll get a run or two. How's that? <laughs> All right, be right back. Before I start plowing, I just want to thank my Heavenly Father, my Abba Father, that for this truck that Monica and I picked out back in 08 when we first came to Alaska with her and I and Rachel. I just want to thank you, Father, because this truck has been awesome. It's now 10 years old. I've got 132,000 miles on it is all, and that's a blessing as well. But with this Cummings diesel engine, it should last to 500,000 miles easy. And I've got uh, uh, everything to go along with it, all the bells and whistles, you know, Jake brake and Allison transmission and four-wheel drive and three-quarter ton heavy duty which is big and I, it, thank you father thank you father uh, and then I'll start on this in a minute but thank you my heavenly father I have a father thank you. well now the job is to take those high spots that blade pushed the snow to one side and I'll continue to push it to that same side until I continue to work it all the way up to the, the ditch out by the highway there okay so that's the plan right now, and that's where I'm going to start right now. I'm going to lower my, I'm going to tilt my blade slightly to the left, so everything goes that way. And then I'm going to lower it down as I move forward here. And I've got it in four low, and I'm going to lower it down and start pushing snow toward the highway off the left-hand side, the driver's side. That's the way it should be going right now. And we'll know when we back up and make another pass. I can't go any further than this because it drops off right there. And I would just go down a hump. See that dip? Uh-huh. Okay, so now we can do this. 
we can back up and see how that did. Yeah, it looks like it got it pretty good. And now here comes the highway snowplow doing the highway. He just plowed right into my, just piled it all in the driveway too, that rotten sucker. He's supposed to do that. But he did. So now I'm going to go on forward and do this again. Uh-oh. I guess I lost my connection there. Oh. I'm going on right now. All right, I'm going to go forward and... Make that swipe again. I'm gonna lower this down. And see if we can push it a little more to the left. Yeah, see, it pushed it to the left right there by tipping the blade to the left toward the driver's side. And we just did it again. I'm gonna raise it. And we're gonna see if it did it again. And I'm sure it did. I mean, it works if you know how to use it. Yeah, I kind of pushed it all over there. A little bit left there, but not much. That's because it overloaded the overloaded the uh, the blade. So I'm gonna lower this back down. Go forward again. Push some more over. Now, I'll try not to overload the blade so much this time. You see the job of a snowplow operator <laughs> when it's cleaning up your parking lot and your driveway for you. He's got a lot of work to do to try to keep it uh, as neat and orderly as possible and get all of it he possibly can. That's his job, right? So we're going to try this again. We're going to lower this down. Make another swipe. I mean, you can't ever get all of it, but you can get all of it you can. That's that's the idea. And we're here. So I'll raise this up again. And lower the hip reverse. Bag it up. And see what we accomplished with that. Well, we got a little slosh over to the right, but not much. That's because the blade was full. So that's okay, the blade's full. I'm gonna go at this again now. Dump it over the cliff. Raise that back up. Hit reverse. See who's on the phone. Hello? Hello? No, hey, as a matter of fact, I'm out front here plowing the road, plowing the parking lot with my snow plow. <laughs> uh, I'm plowing the, uh, all the parking here, the driveway and everything, so I can get in and out uh, with my snow plow on my truck. You know, because I... Hold on, I'll, I'll stop here at the end of this swipe and take a break for a second. How's that? Because I, I couldn't hear you. Right. You know you're always busy, my friend. Are you? Well, that's, that's where I'm at. You know what? It's, uh, it's nice up here. <clears throat> it really is. 
uh, in the cabin. Uh, the coldest we've been here, I remember the other day you were telling me how cold it was there, and I still say, wow. <laughs> but, uh, but the coldest it's been here is about four below, five below. Yeah, yeah so that's not bad. You, I, oh, wow. See, we're, we're up about 26. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I am here at Duffy's. Now, back at the village, they're always about 10 degrees colder than here or more. Back at the village, because it's, it's low. It's kind of like buttes out there, you know what I mean? You guys have... You guys got much colder temperatures than than uh, Palmer, <laughs> you know. For example, wow, man. Well, let me park this truck. I made that swipe. I'm gonna park this truck, and I'll visit. Well, I had to stop and talk to Brad for a minute because he's a good guy, and. Uh, friend of mine and I had to talk to him and he just wanted to check make sure I'm okay <coughs> and I am and and I make sure he's okay that's a blessing you know and he's a good guy he lives down by the buttes and uh, um, which is down by Palmer so he's kind of kind of in warm country but not so much because the buttes is under the shadow of a mountain so it never gets any sun for a couple of months. I mean, the sun's up in the area, but it's not up at his house for a couple of months there during the winter uh, because of the shadow of the, the mountain keeps the sun hid behind the mountain. So he never gets to see that, that sun during a couple of months in the winter. So... Anyhow, uh, I almost got most of this side done, and then I got a lot more to do, of course, but, but we're certainly making progress, and it's uh, looking pretty good, as a matter of fact. So, go ahead and put this in low gear, drop this down, get started, shove some more on over here. this load. That's a plus. Raise that up. Keep doing what we're doing. Eventually we'll have this thing cleaned out enough that it'll work until the next note falls. And then I'll have to be done again. You know, that's just part of life, I guess. <laughs> It is what it is, and that's one of the one of the beautiful things about living in Alaska is plowing your snow, man. I better do something with this. There you go. Yep, gotta get that snow plowed and shoveled all up by the doors and all of those other things that happen when you have snow in your direction. <laughs> well, I got a little bit more in the middle to get here. Right there, as a matter of fact. Then that's pretty much got the island, I think. And it's pretty well got this area also. However, I could, if I want to, take it a little further toward the ditch in the middle of the road. And I might. I might. I might do that right now, as a matter of fact, when I back up. I need a little hole there, but I knew that hole was there. That's where the drop-off is. All right, now let's ask yourself, self, do you want to get another swipe the road. You know, 
actually think I do. And that doggone guy with the snow plow came right by. Look at this over here. Plowed all the snow right back in the driveway I just plowed. And I, he's not supposed to do that. In fact, he's supposed to plow out the driveway right at the road for me, but he didn't even do that. He's seen me plowing, I guess. All right, we're going to try to push one over here just to widen this up a bit. I don't think there's anything major in here that I'm going to hurt. There. We made it down here a ways. I think it's in here. Is brush. Maybe a few rocks. I can tell. One thing I like about this snow plow, it's a good one. I had to buy it. I had to have it. I mean, I got to live here, so I had to have it. So, with that said, uh, and there's one good part about the snow plow, the bottom two or three inches or four of the blade, if you hit something hard, it tips backwards so it doesn't damage something. And that is a real blessing on a snow plow. Not all of them have that. See, I can go further down this way. I can go to that driveway right there that we got. But, why? I don't think I'm going to be using that one. And close to the ditch, you see the ditch there on the left? I don't want to run into that either. That could be an issue. So, with that said, now I think I'm going to back on up and hit this part that that idiot pushed in my driveway. I can't see any cars coming. My God, he did a job on me here. What's wrong with you, dude? Where's your brains, man? Where is your brains? Huh. Guess he didn't have any. I'll tilt it to the right. Lower this down. See if I can get it off of here. Feels good so far. Don't want to go too far with this. Got me up here. Well, I'll try to get a little closer to that mailbox for the mailman to get in. Well, I'm kicking up rocks too. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I should let the mailman a little closer, I guess. Take this on around one more time. Go over here and actually push it right up there, like that. Stop. Back up. Kind of got it out of the way that way. All right, well, you all seen it. It is what it is. It's a long video. No well, in conclusion, it looks like we got this all cleaned up pretty good. I got everything fixed up out there that that road worker messed up on the driveway. I got this all done where I can swoop out of here when I get ready to go again. I got it open back there for the 
fuel driver that opened over there out the highway and I even got a cleared area all the way up to the cabin over there so I can uh, pull in there if I need to for some reason. So it's finally done after two or three hours of work but that's why I bought the plow, plow and that's why God blessed me with that plow because otherwise to hire somebody to do this would have been four or five hundred dollars to just do this once and it might need to be done ten times this winter so that's a lot of money I'd have to pay out so thank you, I mean that's more that that's the cost of this blade completely installed and everything or more so for one winter so that was my time is not worth anything right now it's winter I can't even be back there at the mountains doing any gold work. So I'm here. Well, all that plowing, back here so we could get to that back fuel tank. Over by the cabin, which you can see the piled up snow over there. I plowed all this out through there. I plowed the driveway two or three times. Okay, <laughs> because of the highway snow plow. I put all this all the way down to that other driveway and back down here. Put all of this. Let me walk around here. Okay, all of this out here. It all the way over and up there. And I did all of that in an hour and 45 minutes. Roughly a little less than two hours. That isn't bad. That isn't bad. Thank you, God, for that truck, that plow. And the blessings of the truck working. It didn't get hot and everything's working fine. I trust it all now. Thank you, Father. Amen.